Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to reprogram, or better yet, I should say, how to change the function for the remote control of this vehicle, the 2006 Toyota Tundra. Now by remote control I mean the uh, little key fob that'll lock and unlock the vehicle. So currently it is set so that when you press the unlock button once, it will unlock the driver's side door. Press it again and it'll unlock the passenger side. Now personally on a vehicle that uh, you can control two doors with locks on, I mean I don't really see the the necessity of having to press it twice to unlock both doors. I can understand where that'll come in handy if you have a four door vehicle where you can you know individually lock or unlock the doors. You know you press it once you can unlock the driver's side door because that's all you need if you're by yourself. If you got multiple people with you press it twice unlock all the doors everyone gets in happy but uh, you know two doors personally I don't see why it's necessary so what I'm gonna do today is reprogram the computer in the vehicle so that when I press the unlock button once it'll unlock both doors now the lock button will uh, always lock all doors when you press it once um, so just to show you guys right now what I mean is uh, I'm sure you guys know but I'll press it once unlocks driver's side press it again unlocks passenger side so that's what it's set to do right now. What I want it to do, once again, is press it once, unlock both doors. So I've got the instructions right next to me here, all the procedures and stuff, so let's get started. Now I'm aiming to only do this procedure once, so let's hope the first time is a charm, not third. Let's do this. So the, uh, the procedure asks for the door to be open before you begin. So we're gonna open the door and to make sure that the key is out of the ignition. Uh, what we will do next is start the programming procedure the next eight or nine steps should be completed within 40 seconds so we're gonna do that now now I've switched cameras here because it's just I'm on my phone right now it's a lot easier to see myself through the through the screen so let's get this procedure started um, we're going to insert the key and remove it from the ignition twice and then we're gonna close and open the door twice so let's do that in out once in out twice close open close open I'm gonna insert the key one time take it out I'm gonna close the door twice once twice open insert the key into the ignition and then we're going to leave it in there and we're gonna close the door I'm gonna turn the key on and off four times on off on, off, on, off, on, off, remove it. The doors will lock and unlock four times. Now, the, the computer itself is in its uh, programming mode right now. So the next step is uh, select the operating functions from the existing remote control. So we're gonna press and release these two buttons simultaneously. And then uh, for the feature I want, I'm going to press the unlock button uh, once, and then the buzzer should beep once. To complete the process, the, the computer's programmed, to exit out of this whole programming thing, we're going to open the door, and that's it. Theoretically, the program is now complete. So, I'm going to lock the doors. I'm gonna switch back to this camera here so I can show you guys uh, the results. All right guys, so here we are back again. Hopefully the, uh, the programming worked. I'm going to press the unlock button once and see if both doors open. There we go. Both doors have officially opened and uh, <laughs> that's rather exciting. The programming is officially complete. I hope this helped you guys out. Um, if you need to reprogram stuff on a 2006 Toyota Tundra, that's how it's done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it real and keep on smiling.